deep dive into COVID and how different countries around the world handled it. And Sweden, on that point of view, seemed to get it right. They didn't lock down the school. They were talking about restaurants and things like that. So so we do need on a global scale to look at how everybody reacts and, and learn those lessons. It's important, isn't it? Yeah, the, that was Sweden's finest hour, you know. Um, right. The, um, the Swedes at their best are like, uh, you know, the, the Martin Luther, the Diet at Worms or whatever. Here I stand, I can do nothing else, you know. This absolute integrity and rectitude. And sometimes Swedes have shown that. And so the Swedish statesmen have shown that, and then they get assassinated. But, um, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Um, it, it, that was Agnes Tegnell was like a statesman in a way, and he was the head of the he, the, the Spectator in the UK right. Fell in love with him because he was a guy who stood up to lockdowns. So we never had lockdown. We never. I never saw a mask. We never. I never saw any no school closures or anything. But the Swedes did surrender on the vaccines issue. But on the other hand, they didn't show much excess mortality. They had the smallest economic hit and the lowest vaccine excess mortality. So they may, maybe they had a better better batch of vaccines than others. But the, the vaccines was not much of an issue in Sweden. Yeah. So I've been a bit late to that argument, actually. Okay. Well, interesting. We will continue to sort of shine a spotlight on those issues, as we always say, even within the hour that we do, we try to unpack as much stuff as possible, but keep returning to it. Critically analyzing global affairs. The Muckrakers on today's News Talk TNT.